Welcome back to the Jimmy Dore Show. Pastor Jardula here with Kurt Metzger and JD in the house. Um, so we have our commander in chief. We just did the Hawaii story. We talked about what was tragedy over there. With a tragedy like this, I'm sure our president, uh, the United States, will have something nice to say, wouldn't he? Let's take a listen. Mr. President, any comment on the rising death toll in Maui? Response, Mr. President? Uh, nothing there. Hit. Okay. No, no comment. Four more I think, years. <laughs> I think he's getting in the car and he's going. He's asking. Uh, it looks like he's asking his staff is if Maui is located in Ukraine or not. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> where is he going on vacation now? Is he going to? He's island? going back to. He's on vacation again. Yeah. Well, so did, no, I'm not vacation in Hawaii. I'm did you see how many place. vacation days he's taken? Uh, well, I should hope like a, so. Like some kind of like a hundred and some vacation days. Well, if it makes you feel any better, he's probably not really the president. <laughs> he's well, that's probably how a you... puppet of a darker forces. Hey, it's funny how he doesn't even pretend to give a fuck about those people. I think it's funny how people just stare at it like like it's not a pro- friends of mine. Are like, okay, yeah, he's old. I'm like, do you think the problem is that he's old? That's not that he's demented. visibly not there. Yeah, There's all kinds of old it's people. It's not his that age. My dad was 93 when he died, and he had his faculties. Well, he didn't have a. He wasn't demented. He didn't have Alzheimer's. There's diseases called Alzheimer's and dementia, and Joe Biden has it. Yeah, I think people think being old is the same as dementia. No, it's not. It's not. There's lots of people. I know lots of people in their 80s who are sharp as a tack. I met I met Dick Van Dyke when he was 93. The guy was sharp as a tack. My grandfather was sharper than Joe Biden at his advanced at, age. I can tell Henry you Kissinger's a hundred years old, yeah. and he seems like that has all of his faculties. And he's talking more sense than any of them. Exactly. So Maui is located where? So Maui, if it was located in Ukraine, I bet he would have something to say about hey. it. <laughs> so there's, there's. Imagine if Trump did that. Just imagine how it would, it would be talk, it would be. It's trending for five days straight. Oh yeah, it would. They'd make a movie of the week about oh, it. Oh yeah, but I mean, it just shows you that the Democratic Party is the establishment, is the donor class. The donor class loves the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, but the, right now the Democrats are the establishment because the establishment knows how to use uh, woke politics and DEI and all that stuff, and that's well, they what created the, it. And they, that's right. They create, and so that's what the. I mean, it, this and so nobody's going to criticize Joe Biden for doing that in the establishment media. Maybe at Fox News they will, but they're not going to do it at CNN. They're going to make excuses for him on the View and in New York Times. They're going to yeah. say, "Oh no, he that's a, that that's probably responsible of him to not comment on until it until we get more information." He wasn't briefed yeah. yet, and that's probably You're the right. right thing to do. Yeah. But if it was Trump doing it and again, it makes it look like I'm defending or Trump defending. No, if it was Bernie Sanders doing it and he was president, they would do the same thing. So just remember, whatever they do to Trump, they would be doing to Bernie Sanders had Bernie Sanders had the nutsack to grab power. Remember, you're not a Trump supporter. You're a Trump sympathizer. The New York Post says Biden slammed for heartless, no comment response to Maui wildfire as the death toll mounts. But it is the New York Post. So, and President Biden has yet to offer a verbal statement Monday afternoon in response to the mounting death toll and the catastrophic Maui wildfire, the deadliest U.S. wildfire wildfire in more than a century. After spending the weekend sunning himself on the beach near his Delaware vacation home, you would think that is enough time to go by to at least say friggin something, anything. Just, I'm sorry for what happened. Uh, you know, anything. I, I, my heart goes out to these people. The 80 year old commander in chief avoided reporters upon his return to Washington Monday morning, walking directly across the White House lawn to the Oval Offices without approaching the press to give a statement on the tragedy, a, a, as U.S. leaders often do. Wow. Not even a heck of a job, Brownie. Not even Not a heck of a job, job Brownie. Brownie. Wow. The White House later put out a statement on X. That's Twitter. Yes, the platform formerly, formerly known as Twitter. I'm never going to I'm never gonna call it X. Never. Just FYI. Kurt, are you ever going to call it X? Never. I'm thrown for a loop every time I see it. I don't know what's happening. I know. I can't find the app I'm going to call it Twitter phone. forever. Me In too. fact, I'm going to call that uh, fa- famous guy from history Malcolm Twitter from now on. Just out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> So taking note of the carnage in Maui and detailing government resources on 
offer to beleaguered residents. As residents of Hawaii mourn the loss of life and devastation taking place across the beautiful home, their beautiful home, we mourn with them. Like I've said, not only are our prayers, uh, not only our prayers are with those impacted, but every asset we have will be available to them. Read the statement attributed. Oh, see to Biden. that? See, he just got to. He just had to get in, get in for. He needed to get briefed on it. He just had no. to get. Yeah, he had to give it. All. He had Did to, he want to disturb him on the weekend. Somebody yeah. had to give him a script. A day earlier, the That's president right. offered a stony heart, no comment when asked about the death toll, which has been climbed to at least ninety six, <laughs> which is going to be way more. Not until I've had my talking pills. I'm not making a statement. <laughs> I gotta have his talking pills. There's DC Drano talking. We just showed this right over here. What no is, comment. Okay. You got to get the picture of him in the glasses over there. <laughs> this is Wyatt Reed, friend of the show. Joe Biden responds to devastating wildfires in Hawaii by requesting twenty billion more for, for Ukraine. Ukraine. Twenty billion more for Ukraine. Yes. Oh, they're just letting him do it. They're just. There's no one going to say anything. There's I don't no believe, one's gonna at, this, at this point, is it even his idea? Like, like when did the when did the ladies of the View finally go? Okay, enough. Right? Have they? Said I can't enough? even. Get, I couldn't even get Marion Williamson to say enough. She's like, well, it's not like they're going to spend that money on homelessness. So shut up. <laughs> she said that. You didn't yeah. see her say she that. She said it's only a small, it's significant like power. Spend, yes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, making, Madam President. Not only that, but she tweeted that. Yeah. She all, not only did she say that on the show, she also tweeted that. It's not like they're going to spend that money on homelessness, so yeah, I, I guess we should shut up. That's what I say as a person not running for president. <laughs> Jimmy, Kurt, would you guys let me speak? Anyways, this is um, Joe Biden <laughs> over here. <laughs> Please don't stop pretending I'm not letting you speak, Craig. You I'm know trying I'm to speak, speak here, Jimmy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Come see our live shows. We're going to be in Chicago, Rosemont, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Toronto, Toledo, Detroit, St. Louis, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. 